Today we're going to be working with the community and going out to the Awahales, which are uh, Olawahe uh, trees or palm trees that produce fruit. We're going out with community members to harvest the fruit. Wearing pants because it's very important. Keep the bugs and spines off. And long sleeve shirt, also very important for the bugs and the vines and spines and everything else. Everything that stings and bites. got to the location where they have their Oahe, at least on the river, and uh, now we have to trek through the jungle to get to the trees. I'm not sure how far it'll be, but it might be a while. I forgot my phone in order to fly my drone, but I guess we're going to be back tomorrow, so that's cool. This right here is the termite nest. And the spines on this. It's the largest termite mound I've ever seen in the jungle. My hand for comparison. So This tree I don't know if it was one tree or a whole bunch that grew together. I think it's one. I think it's one. ¿Cómo se llama este árbol? Renaco. Renaco? Yes. Es un solo árbol? Un solo árbol. Wow. Bastante raíz. Wow. It's one tree that made a whole bunch of roots. There's monkeys up here. And they said there's a lot of karachama in here in this pond. Yeah. Or a placosimus. See? Aki? See? So it amazes me that such a little pond can support so much life. Uh, at least in terms of fish species. The man that I spoke to listed off probably four or five different species that live in there. Um, big ones. And what happens is when the river floods, the main river, the fish leave. And they, uh, they get trapped in these ponds and they just stay. But a lot of species, I hear bees. Okay, a lot of species evolved to be able to survive in areas of low oxygen. Um, that's how they do all right. They stay there until the river, the river rises again, or they just live there. I have to be very careful walking in the jungle because there's snakes not only in the ground, but in the trees. There's ants, all kinds of other things that sting. Okay, there's some Malawi trees. See? Those are the types of trees that we're after. Massive vines here. Oh. 
This is a wire. Oh, no. This is what we're after. Where? <laughs> <laughs> And they grow on these palm trees. And we're here to climb them and get the fruit. <laughs> okay, so this is a Sachavaca footprint or a tapir. They have three main toes, or three big toes. There's one here, here, and here. Quanto, quanto pesan? Cien kilos. So they weigh like 100 kilos. Um, so we keep those 2.2 pounds. I don't know what that equates to, like 220 pounds or something like that. But they get massive. I once heard one uh, walking through the jungle, and it wasn't the most graceful. It was knocking over a lot. Probably heard it and took off, but uh, or it wasn't the quietest, at least. Some animals you don't hear at all. Like the jaguar. They're invisible. You'll only see them if they want to be seen. This is all I have for taking some of the little scales off. It's ready to eat. So it has a big seed in the middle. And little scales on the outside. So there's really only a little bit you can eat. Actually, this tastes sour. It doesn't give me diarrhea. Well. This spine went straight through my rubber boot into my foot. Which I think is still there. <clears throat> Took my boot and sock off, and the spine was stuck in the boot. Luckily, it didn't go into my skin. I couldn't get the spine out, so I just broke it off. But, yeah, that's why I bring good duct tape with me so I can make little patches. These ants can't really see them. They live in this tree that was cut down. My day will mess you up. When I first came out to work in the Peruvian jungle, I made the mistake of putting my hand on a tree. And uh, got stung pretty bad by my ants. I don't know if it was the same species or not, but I'm sure there's many, many, many kinds that sting. But, yeah, one of the main rules in the jungle, always be careful where you put your feet and your hands. Oh shit, that was a bee or an ant that got me. Ants. Yep.
So there's a wasp nest in there. I don't think you can see it. I don't really intend on getting much closer because one of the guys uh, in our team just got stung by one. But we're making our path right now. And they really didn't like that. So I'm going to try my very best to gently walk through here, not to disturb them.